The courtroom buzzed with anticipation. All eyes were on the judge. Bunja Global SA, a titan of global agribusiness, had been on the verge of absorbing Vicentine SAIC, a struggling Argentinian soy giant. This takeover had the potential to reshape the global soybean market. Then, the gavel fell. The judge's words echoed through the room, halting Bunge's plans in their tracks. The court had ruled against the proposed takeover, throwing the future of both companies into uncertainty. This decision sent shockwaves through the industry, leaving many to wonder about the fate of these agricultural powerhouses. The court's decision was a significant setback for Bungie, which had seen the acquisition as a strategic opportunity to expand its footprint in South America. For Vicentan, already teetering on the brink, the ruling added another layer of complexity to its fight for survival. The world watched as the news reverberated through the global soybean market. Vicentan SAIC was not just another name in the agricultural sector. It was a symbol of Argentina's dominance in the global soybean market. Founded over nine decades ago, the company rose to prominence as a major player in soybean processing, exporting its products to a hungry world. Vicentan's success was deeply intertwined with Argentina's economic fortunes. The company provided jobs, stimulated local economies, and contributed significantly to Argentina's export revenues. However, the journey was not without its bumps. Years of economic instability in Argentina, coupled with internal management issues, began to cast a shadow over Vicentan's once bright future. The company found itself burdened with mounting debts and struggling to stay afloat. By 2019, the once mighty Vicentan had stumbled, defaulting on its financial obligations and sending tremors through the global soybean market. The company's downfall served as a stark reminder of the volatile nature of the agricultural industry. Enter Bungay Global SA, another heavyweight in the global agricultural landscape. Recognizing an opportunity amidst the chaos, Bungie saw Vicentine's woes as a chance to consolidate its own position in the South American market. A takeover of Vicentine, Bungie argued, would be a win-win situation. Bungie would gain access to Vicentine's extensive processing facilities and establish trade routes. Vicentine, in turn, would receive a much-needed lifeline, a chance to restructure its debts and potentially regain its footing. The proposed takeover was met with a mixture of hope and apprehension. Supporters lauded the potential for industry consolidation and the prospect of saving a struggling giant. Critics, however, raised concerns about potential job losses and the creation of an agricultural behemoth that could stifle competition. All eyes turned to the Argentinian courts, where the fate of the deal hung in the balance. The courtroom was packed on the day of the ruling. The tension was palpable. After weeks of legal battles and intense scrutiny, the judges delivered their verdict. The proposed takeover of Vicentin by Bungay was to be halted. The news sent shockwaves through the industry, catching many off guard. The court's decision was not based on a whim. It was rooted in a complex web of legal and economic considerations. One of the key factors influencing the court's decision was the issue of competition, allowing Bungie, already a dominant force in the global grain market, to absorb Vicentin would create an entity of unprecedented scale and reach. This, the court argued, could potentially stifle competition, harm consumers, and give Bungie an unhealthy level of control over the soybean market. Furthermore, the court expressed concerns about the transparency of the proposed deal. Section 5. A chorus of reactions stakeholders respond to the unexpected turn of events. The court's decision reverberated through the agricultural world, eliciting a chorus of reactions from stakeholders across the board. For Vicentin, the ruling was a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it provided a temporary reprieve from the clutches of a takeover. On the other hand, it left the company in a precarious position, still grappling with its massive debts and an uncertain future. Vicentin's management team, while acknowledging the challenges ahead, expressed a commitment to exploring all available options to restructure the company and chart a new course. Bunge, for its part, expressed disappointment at the court's decision. The company maintained that its proposed takeover was in the best interests of both parties and would have benefited the Argentinian economy as a whole. However, Bunge acknowledged the court's authority and indicated that it would explore other avenues for growth and expansion. Creditors, who had been eagerly awaiting the outcome of the deal, 
were left in a state of limbo. The court's ruling injected a new layer of uncertainty into their efforts to recoup their investments. Section 6. Soybean Fields in Limbo, The Economic Fallout and Argentina's Uncertain Future The court's decision to block the Bungie Vicentine deal had immediate and far-reaching consequences for Argentina's economy, particularly its vital soybean industry. Argentina, one of the world's largest soybean producers and exporters, relies heavily on the industry for jobs, export revenue, and overall economic stability. The uncertainty surrounding Vicentine's future sent ripples of concern through the sector. Farmers who rely on Vicentin as a buyer for their crops face the prospect of disrupted supply chains and potentially lower prices for their products. The Argentinian government, already grappling with a fragile economy, now faced the daunting task of navigating the fallout from the court's decision. The government had been hoping that the Bunge Vicentin deal would provide a much-needed boost to the agricultural sector and alleviate some of the economic pressure. With the deal off the table, the government was left scrambling for alternative solutions to stabilize the industry and reassure investors. Section 7. Charting a course through uncertainty, potential outcomes and strategies. In the wake of the court's decision, both Bunja and Vicentan found themselves at a crossroads, forced to reassess their strategies and chart new courses amidst the uncertainty. For Bunji, the blocked takeover was a setback, but not a complete defeat. The company still commanded a powerful presence in the global agricultural market and possessed ample resources to explore alternative avenues for growth. Bungie could now set its sights on other potential acquisitions or focus on expanding its existing operations in other regions. Vicente, on the other hand, faced a more precarious future. Still burdened by its massive debts and now deprived of a potential lifeline, the company had to act swiftly and decisively to avoid complete collapse. One option on the table was to pursue a restructuring plan that involved negotiating with creditors to extend payment deadlines and potentially reduce the overall debt burden. Another possibility was to seek out new investors willing to inject fresh capital into the struggling company. Section 8. Beyond Argentina, the global soybean market and the domino effect. The legal battle between Bunja and Vicentin, played out in Argentinian courts, had implications that extended far beyond the borders of a single nation. The global soybean market, a complex web of interconnected producers, consumers and traders, watched with bated breath as the drama unfolded. Argentina, as a major soybean exporter, plays a crucial role in this global ecosystem. Any disruption to its production or exports has the potential to send shockwaves through the market. The court's decision to block the Bunja Vicentan deal injected a new element of uncertainty into the global soybean market. Traders and buyers, accustomed to relying on Argentina for a steady supply of soybeans, now face the prospect of volatility and potential price fluctuations. Moreover, the legal battle served as a stark reminder of the geopolitical factors that can influence global commodity markets. The case highlighted the delicate balance between national interests, corporate ambitions, and the interconnected nature of the global food system. Section 9. The Final Verdict, Lessons Learned and the Future of Agricultural Giants The court's decision to halt Bunge's takeover of Vicentan marked the end of a chapter in the ongoing saga of these agricultural giants. The case, however, offered valuable lessons for the industry as a whole, it underscored the increasing scrutiny of mega-mergers and acquisitions in the agricultural sector, particularly in light of concerns about market concentration and potential impacts on food security. The case also highlighted the challenges of navigating complex legal and regulatory environments, especially in volatile global markets. As for the future of Bungie and Vicentan, the path ahead remained uncertain. Bungie, with its vast resources and global reach, was well-positioned to weather the storm and explore new opportunities. Vicentan, however, faced a more daunting challenge. Its survival depended on its ability to restructure its debts, find new investors, and regain the trust of the market. The case served as a potent reminder of the fragility of even the mightiest agricultural giants in the face of financial turmoil, shifting market dynamics, and the unpredictable nature of